But this is what the finishing touches look like, guys. Check this out. Ooh, we. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer back in that building with another Farika video. Y'all know I'm all smiles. Before I get to this video, tell y'all what's going on. You want to say what's up to my, <laughs> to my beautiful queen. What's Hello. up, so? Hi. How you doing, babe? I'm doing wonderful. Mm, how you feeling it's today? A beautiful Saturday night, evening. Mm -hmm. how I'm you? about to enjoy this dinner. Okay, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling well, you're looking fabulous. I like your Thank dress. You. I like the shoes. That's really, Thank really, you. really lit. What they say? Juicy, juicy? <laughs> juicy Couture, yeah. Mm. Really it should be saying thick, thick. Mm. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> so anyway, guys. So a lot of you guys have been like, oh my God, I love seeing you and So-So together doing videos. We appreciate that. We do. Somebody in one of the videos on multiple occasions, actually a lot of people on multiple occasions in a lot of the videos saying, when are you and So-So going to do your very, very, very first cooking video together? And this is a special yeah. one for me. And I feel like, you know, it's time for us to do a cooking video. Yeah, it is. Now, y'all know, So-So, she loves <laughs> seafood. I love seafood. But she got me really loving seafood. Because I'm learning how to cook crab legs right and everything and all that. So now I'm getting to cook for her. And we're going to cook together tonight. But I still feel like I'm cooking for her. You so, are. And let's I show, appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. So let's show you guys what we are <laughs> Show you guys what we're cooking tonight. So we are going to have some seasoned boiled water. Let's go. So we got this pan of water on here. We're going to season it up and we're going to boil it. And we're going to be eating seasoned boiled water tonight. Because we're both trying to wash our, our, our weight. So how you feel about the seasoned boiled? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're eating seasoned boiled water, right? So we eating boneless water? Well, we're gonna put a little butter in the water, a little seasoning in the water, and uh, egg shells. We're gonna throw the egg yolks away and put the shells in the water. Um, anyway, I'm not eating no boiled water uh, with seasoning. That's what Damien's gonna eat. That's like broth, right? That's that's what broth is. <laughs> yeah, pretty much with that stuff seasoned at the Chinese. Water. But what's the stuff at the Chinese store? It's called pho. 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 Mm -hmm. Is is pho good? Pho is very good. I love pho. So that's what we're making pho, right? No, we're not making fun today. I'm just kidding, guys. So what we make it? I don't know how to make that. Hey, that make that stuff fun. is fire. I know people who love that. Right here in the sink, guys. Y'all know we ain't making no darn gone pulled water. Y'all know we got the crab legs. So yes. pick these crab legs out. One of the videos you guys seen recently, I went and bought us some crab legs. I told you, so so love the crab legs and stuff like that. But I got a confession to make, y'all, when it comes to so so. Remember last week I did that video for you guys at HEB. I told you guys, I said, I'm sorry that I didn't finish the uh, grocery shopping video because I got a call. And I said, when I was on a call, I was being thirsty. She distracted me from the cooking videos. I mean, I mean, from the grocery store shopping video. So blame her. You distracted me because you was... Not because you was on the I phone. I did no such thing. You I continuously said, Damien, do you want to go do your video? Go do your video. What did you say? She kept saying, Babe, what do you want to do tonight when I get home? And I was like, Babe, I don't care. We can watch TV, do what we always do. Watch him, she guys. said, No, babe, let's go somewhere tonight. So I couldn't get off the phone because I was too wrapped up on the phone. Okay, it was her fault. Anyway, right here, I got these crab legs. So I think we got it. What did we get? Additional two pounds today? Yeah, two pounds of medium. We got the large crab clusters, snow crab cluster legs, and then we have the medium uh, snow clusters. So okay. this is the snow crab leg clusters. So, so I will say, the large we, and then the medium. So what do you think we got about what five pounds of crab legs? Yeah, about like probably like four and a half. What what did you get? Like two and a half. I think and I got like two got. and a half or three pounds. Oh yeah, so it's like five. Mm hmm Because we got two pounds of the medium one. So we'll just say we got four and a half to five pounds of nice meaty crab legs, and we have two of these humongous. Alaskan lobster tails, correct? Atlantic. I'm sorry, Atlantic lobster tails. Oh, well, now I don't know why I would say are, Alaskan. So the, the original ones is eight ounces, and these are the 10 ounces, I think. Yep. 
so these are the 10 ounce Atlantic um, yep. Lobster toes. Look how meaty those are, guys. We're going to cut these open. Now, I'm not telling you guys that we are going to do the eating part of a video tonight. I can't guarantee you that. Uh, we just wanted to just do like our first cooking video together. And I think tonight when the food gets done, we're probably going to really just enjoy the food and just enjoy each other off camera because you guys have seen us do seafood mukbang before. We are topping our night off with a glass of delicious wine, of oh. course. <laughs> I'm trying to pull Good wine. Up. What's the name of this? This is some... some <laughs> recommend it we were drinking yeah. this a little earlier guys we were having some fun earlier can i see the bottle yeah this yeah. one is pretty much gone <laughs> yeah we were at the really store good. yeah this really is, is really good so we were at the store earlier Cosmo berry. was it heb heb yeah yeah so we were at heb earlier and we were in the wine section so it was like well you picked the bottles tonight i said okay so i grabbed one and then this guy recommended this cosmo berry oliver wine and this, I'm not gonna lie, this is extremely good, guys. It is. You guys see the strawberries on the front, but what stands out to me is the grapefruit that's behind the strawberry. And then it's like, they said they make it in the store and it's real fruit. So he said the whole thing is real fruit and it's just, it's really good. Oh wow, good. I do say It tastes so fruit. authentic and it just tastes good. Yep. Now, I'm, I don't know if this was new, but the guy said that this was new to their- Yeah, he said it was new. Oh wow, for so this store, is- right? Yeah, so this is new right here, guys, mm -hmm. so. I had some earlier and it is definitely tasty. Tastes as good as you look, girl. <laughs> and on top of the crab legs, guys, I'm sorry, we have some beef sausage. Oh yeah, we gotta put the eggs on. We have some beef sausage that we're gonna be making. So we're not gonna do the potatoes and shrimp this time, guys. We were at the store, but we decided just to do like the crab legs, the lobster tail, the sausage, the boiled eggs, and the corona cob. So we got the Texas Heritage Beef Sausage. As you guys know, so-so do not eat a lot of pork. Even though I've been buying pork, I have actually backed off eating a lot of pork. So you guys know how that is. So we have the corn on the cob right here. Um, that's boiling already. We got the frozen. Baby put, what, one, two, three, four eggs in there. Mm -hmm. We got the, uh, what, what season are we gonna use? Um, obey, minced garlic, and butter. This is what I live by for a seafood boil. I just love this is it. Yeah, so I think so. You um, so since you got me eating this Lando Lakes butter, I honestly can taste the difference now when it comes to mm -hmm. how the butter tastes because I'm always buying the country crock. Yeah, I really this is this is really good butter. I'm not gonna lie, and then it just the flavor is there. It's very flavorful and very delicious, mm -hmm. especially with the um the crab meat. You know, when you crack them legs open. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Seasoning right there, guys. You guys can see that the old day. So you said we basically gonna, even though I'm doing a cooking so so it's still giving me tips on how to do it the right way. So once the water boil for the crab legs, we're gonna put the, the old bay seasoning in the water. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Once it starts boiling, you put the seasoning in there. And the crab legs, because they're already cooked, okay. um, it doesn't take long. And, you know. So you're gonna, Okay, so even though I'm cooking, you're gonna still walk me through it so I don't overcook the crab yeah, legs, right? so pretty much we're gonna season the water and then once the crab legs go in there, we're gonna also season, we're gonna put the seasoning or the obey on top of the crab legs too. Okay. It, you know, at the end, just give it that flavor. Okay. okay. They're already cooked, but you know. Okay, mm. this yeah. beautiful dress right here. Thank you. Very beautiful, very beautiful. <laughs> mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. So, but that's what we're doing, guys. We are fin to do our first cooking video, seafood. And of course, I'm gonna be enjoying another glass of wine. Uh, I'm not gonna touch that because that seems to be our favorite. I'm gonna have to get yeah. another bottle of we that. Have a few bottles, so that not, actually, mm -hmm. But not that right there. That's the good stuff you right there. Drink some. I wanna I wanna show them the one that you actually pick out. Oh so yeah. So we have a, we have one that Damien I told Damien to pick out a glass of or a glass. I told him to pick out a bottle of wine for me. So the one he actually picked out is the one we're actually gonna have with our dinner and it's gonna be kinda like it's a date night inside the house. So it's kinda romantic. So I'm gonna show you guys the one Damien picked out. Yes guys, this is our so date this night. This is the Stella Rose that Damien actually picked out. Yes, I read. So if you know you know, if you know wine then you know Stella Rose is always a recommendation from people. I heard Stella Rose is really good too. So it's Stella Rose. <laughs> it is good. Red prestige. And I'm excited to try it. It's semi sweet, so it might be it might not be as sweet as this one, but um, this is what we're gonna actually have with our dinner. You know? Yeah, so that's cool. It's fun. It's fun. So I hope when you drink that, I hope when I drink it too, that I hope that I made a really good choice picking that bottle yeah. right there. But anyway, that's it on that right this there, guys. This is what we're drinking just now. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys remember I bought these flowers for the island. So I guess this, this is going to be pretty decent for our little couple's romantic. dinner tonight. Romantic night tonight. Hey guys, we, um, we kind of, we're, we're very much in love. So <laughs> we're just doing some loving stuff right now. So. Yep. And that's why I said, guys, you guys probably won't see us do like the eating part because, you know, this is like, we just want to just do our thing. But, you know, we'd, you know, we around each other a lot, but even when she's not at work and I'm not at work, we try to spend as much time together as we can. So, I don't, I don't know. I never had five with my other people boil. So this you can ask, I can actually put it in with the eggs. Okay. Just because it's just water. What I'm going to do is. Okay. Is there anything I like the idea? Mm hmm. Y'all, I almost forgot to put the beef sausage on. So, what they be like, where's the beef, guys? So I'm just gonna take my sausage guys. Pretty much cut these up and put these, I'm gonna put the sausage inside the corn. I mean with the eggs. The eggs will be done here really short. Sausage is already cooked, but gonna make sure we give it that seafood. That seafood taste. Are you back there yawning? I don't know why I said that. Are you back there yawning? No, I'm not. Cause that, hey, we I just like swirled my glass and my watch. Oh Lord. <laughs> She's trying to run and hide. I tried to swirl it and it just like, this is how you know I'm right from here. Hey, she tried to be cool with it, guys. She got caught slipping. <laughs> Swirling, it like explained for me. She got caught slipping. She got caught slipping. Slap these in there, guys. I'm going to cut these low. Uh, I hope I do them right. I ain't trying to mess up those lock This is different for me, so I'm going to let Damien do his thing. He's cooking for me, guys. The dinner is for me and Damien. Well, it's for us, but Damien's cooking for me. This is. First time he ever made a seafood boil for me, so I'm excited. First time for everything. This is why I wanted to put the corn in the <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I should have. Okay, I wasn't even like, I should have put the you corn think, in everything. You think it's going like. Oh, yeah, well, the eggs are going to come out in a few minutes in a way. Yeah. I'm going to take the eggs out in a little bit. This also should just look right in that way. Yeah, but when I take the eggs out, hit them with the ice and the cold water, I'm actually going to keep the sausage in there a little longer. And this should be ready for the crabs. I can't cut the lobsters up with these. <laughs> Here, come in so I can make sure I'm doing them right. Because I know how you feel about your to be honest, Alaskan Atlantic. Atlantic lobster. To be honest, I don't know if I if I do it right. I just know that when I cut them down the middle, it's just how I, it, you know, I can see the meat. And these are beautiful. Just try to cut the shell, not the meat, pull the meat through. Except pull Okay. Make sure you're just not cutting the meat. That's what you got to make sure. Yeah, baby, it's that Dollar Tree. I mean, the scissors. Yeah, Dollar Tree scissors. <laughs> That's yeah, what they are, though. There's nothing wrong with it, though. No, they really are. These are Dollar Tree. Oh, I know. I get them. Yeah. Cut it all the way back to the tail. Mm. It's okay, baby. Keep it. And what? Mm. So, let's cut. Just pull the meat off of the tail. Like that? Ooh. Yeah, wow. You got it really out there. Yeah, I kind of just like to yeah. see the meat so that when I'm, um, like, when I'm cooking, the lobster salad, I like to put the butter in like the, the back and I just make sure that that uh, vein is not down the back. Just like shrimps. Oh, okay. crab. I mean crab. Just like shrimps. Lo no, yeah, that's good. Just, just leave it on there. Yeah, like that. So okay. Leave through the other one. So that means the meat is out. So yeah. when you cook it, you can see the meat and then you okay. can make sure that vein is not down the, the tail because that, that black vein, uh, I, just, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just take it out if I see it. But, yeah, that, blank, that vein is disgusting. But you just did it perfect. Wow. Cool. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. See, once you do it once, you pretty much already do the next one. Yeah, it's perfect. Pretty much cut it straight down the center like that. And just make sure the meat comes off the, the show. Just pull it open just like that. Bang, just like that. Oh, there we go. Wow, you're a lot stronger than me. Hey, let's go. Mm -hmm. These lobster tails, man, when you go to a restaurant, like the first time I had lobster tail was at a restaurant called Red Lobster. This was like back in the early 2000s. And my first time trying it with a small, regular sized lobster tail. Out of the whole dish, the lobster tail was the best. I wanted more of it. That thing was like twelve dollars just for that. I know, right? I feel like red lobster is so overrated. Man. I went there for my um, high school graduation actually, and it was like the first time I've ever been to Red Lobster. My parents took me there for my um, my graduation, <laughs> and I thought it was like 
<laughs> it was like freaking uh, State 48. It was like, oh, yeah. it was that was a long stuff. time ago, but it was just like, wow. Like, you know, it was, yeah. it was great. It was, expensive. It, was, it was nice. It was a great time. But as I got older and I started, you know, affording to go there myself, I was like, oh, this is like, I can cook better yeah. than this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you realize, like, it's so expensive, but you get really small portions. You do. That's the only thing I don't like. And it's not really authentic. I feel like a lot of these stuff is frozen. They just warm it up, like most restaurants. Yeah, I remember when I went to uh, Red Lobster for the first time, I thought I was like top chef. Oh, that's that the closet is. Okay, guys, got to cut it off for a minute. We got to check our food, guys. Yep, see y'all in a minute. So, guys, so it's starting to get late, guys. The seafood boiled is finally done. As I said before, I'm going to do a massive seafood boil. Not a seafood mukbang. We're going to enjoy this by ourselves and just enjoy each other. But this is what the finishing touches look like, guys. Check this out. Ooh, we look. I even found she even taught me so so, taught me a different way how to make the lobster tails. And just look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at that butter inside those lobster tails right there. That is insane. This is insane right here. That's what I call a massive seafood boil. So let's just show you what we have real quick here, guys. God, this camera does not do this justice. We have beef sausage right here. We have boiled eggs. We have, is it Alaskan? Uh, did, what did she say, Atlantic? We just don't say Atlantic uh, lobster tails. Um, again, she taught me a whole different way how to do it. We have corn on the cob, which you guys know is my favorite. I think I said in, earlier in the video, we decided not to do shrimp this time because I didn't see it necessary. Babe, check it out, it's done. Oh, check it out. Okay, uh -huh. it looks wonderful. Look good, okay. thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, you really did your thing. Yep, yeah. so we're gonna sit right here in front of these beautiful red flowers tonight and we're just gonna just enjoy ourselves. you know? So I just wanna say guys, first of all, I wanna say babe, I hope that you enjoy this meal. Thank you, babe, I appreciate you so much. You it are looks, so welcome. It looks really good, I can't wait to eat. Mm-hmm, and we about to do that, guys. So anyway, y'all, comment down below what you think of this. That's great, oh my gosh, you did such a good job. Okay, listen to me. She's all smiles, guys. <laughs> she is all smiles. That right there means the world to me. She's happy, yeah. I'm happy. But again, guys, comment down below, like, comment, share. So this time we have we got sausage, eggs, mussels, clusters, we got extra shrimp, and we got extra clusters. So this is going to be our first seafood mukbang. Mm -hmm. So let's do a little grace real quick. We going we to get to eat, man. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you for blessing us, Lord. Continue to bless our household as well as our relationship, Lord. And we ask you to continue to watch over our families, our loved ones, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, let's, we just go right in. Mm -hmm. So, you guys can't see this because it's in the bowl. But just to, you know, show you guys what we're working over here. See you guys a close up. Yeah. Got the sausage and stuff. What is this, the crack sauce? Crack sauce, is yep. It? We went to this place, it's called Mike Seafood. So, we went to Mike Seafood. They have a lot of locations out here in H-Town. So, we asked for like a platter with enough food on it to feed two of us, right? Well, let me just take this and so we were thinking, we asked for a platter, enough for two. We wasn't expecting them to say, yeah. you only get one cluster of crab legs. They yeah. capitalize them. Yeah, one cluster. Now, enough seafood for two people. We ordered a seafood boil. We wanted enough seafood for two people. One cluster of crab legs. Look at those crab legs right there compared to these. Those crab legs right there look huge. We just gonna go ahead and put some of this juice in here. We gonna put all that up and now. Nah. I should've asked for the shrimp to be peeled, but I guess part of a seafood boil is putting your own shrimp. Yeah, they want you to do the work. Yeah. And then if they peel the shrimp, we'd have to pay two dollars extra. Really? I don't even know that. Yep, 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 you have to pay two bucks extra. We wanna go ahead and take this egg, because I love eggs. And then, it, and I'm not eating them eggs. And then, guys, they only gave us one corn on the cob. We asked them specifically, how many corns do it come with? And how many did they say? Two. And we got one. So they 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 really forced it today. Yeah. And I, I said no mussels, but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna eat it. 
I'm a female for that. <laughs> this morning. But why do females do that? What? Like, y'all literally say, like, I, she, she was on the phone ordering food. Mm. She made sure she said no muscles. I was like, but I like muscles. So they accidentally added the muscles anyway. Now she wants to eat the muscles. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Females, man. Don't do that. It's true, though. I just wanted to try it. Because you know I'm going to tear them up. <laughs> you guys hear a lot of uh, noise, man. We are under hurricane alert, guys. It's real. Yes. It's real. It's real. It's about to get real. Mm -hmm. Oh, the muscles are so nasty. You don't want to eat those. You, you shouldn't have those. Nasty? I only took one. They are not nasty. They're they're good. It's a little spicy though. They are. It's a little spicier than I thought it would be. We asked for mild, but I think even when you ask for mild, like for some reason most people the, the sauce that I think it's the obey that they use is a little spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it still has spice to it no matter what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is their crack sauce. They call it crack sauce for some reason. And it's so good. That's why they call it crack sauce now. It's highly addictive. Yeah. I was super excited to eat these crabs. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I love seafood, you know. I can't believe they did this to me. This yeah. was so disrespectful. Look at one, this, babe. One mm. What? I'll take that from you. <laughs> I'm about to give you one of these these clusters. I'm not gonna take that one. Mm, mm, mm. They gonna give me one corn, man. One corn of cob. So good. They wrong for that. How you gonna give us one corn of cob with a whole seafood bar? And then you know, I already know you about to go to town on it. But that's okay. And I guarantee you that they charge me for that extra corn. I guarantee you they charge me for the corn that they didn't give me. I tell you. So guys, I was I was saying earlier in this video that we had did like a seafood a while back and it was during a power outage. Right here in Houston, and now I don't know if you guys, how many of you guys watching this video live out in this area? We are facing a serious hurricane. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. We're facing a hurricane, guys. So right now, we right back where we started at. Mm-hmm. Very much. Right back where we started at, man. So I have to. Go and get extra gas tonight. You hear that? I hear it. It's the thunder. And what comes with thunder? Lightning. Oh boy. So I have to go get extra gas tonight to make sure the generator, my generator is already full from last time I used it. But I better go get more gas tonight because they say it right on the news that we could potentially lose power again. Oh it don't really take much rain to lose power, it, it just takes a little bit of wind. The rain don't make us lose power, it's the wind. Yeah. They gotta come up with a better system, like, you know, they really do. Put the power lines on the ground. Something. You know, like, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. You have some people, they actually have the generator, mm -hmm. not like the one I have, but the other one, they can connect to your home. Like they can connect it to your house. I, I think, think yeah. yeah, I think those are actually going underground because something has to power those things when you lose power when the transformers go out. Yeah, that would be. A... Yeah, the thing is, it's expensive too, though. I bet. Invest yeah. in something like that. It's worth it, though. For me, it would be a really good investment if it would continue to happen versus having to burn gas all the time, but. Well, at least this time you're going to be very much prepared if it does happen. But let's just pray that it doesn't happen, you know? Well, the way it's acting outside right now, we may not have to even wait for the hurricane to hit to make land fossil before it happened. All it's going to take is some good thunder and lightning and a strong gust of wind. And it's over. Yep. But they are saying, who's the name of the hurricane? It start with a B, I think. Barrel? Barrel. It actually is making landfall, so... The last thing I seen was it was in Jamaica and everybody was saying pray for Jamaica. Mm-hmm. 
Which is really sad. Yep. Yep. So here we go again. And then where it came from? Mexico? Right? Mexico? I think they said it formed in the Gulf. Mm -hmm. Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know what I hate the most about power outages though? What? Because it's like, like with the generator, you gotta, mm -hmm. you're not gonna be at sleep well because it's really loud, first of all. And then every six or seven hours, you gotta go out there and check the gas level. And then you, well, I, well, I ain't gonna, that's like me crying a little bit. I'm appreciative that I have one. But it's, you know, it's a lot to, it's a lot more to, to, to just having a generator. You gotta constantly maintenance it, maintenance it, put gas in it, make sure that the oil levels is right. Because those things are meant to run. And you could actually, damage it if you're not paying attention as far as like the oil levels it's like running a car without oil in it that engine get the knocking and it's pretty much over with mm -hmm. but the last power outage you got you remember all the alerts i was getting oh i remember people were like oh we lost power then some were like well we got power back on but our wi-fi is down it's like bro and it was like the whole time like mm -hmm. i'm just like wow like People just literally sitting there in front of, um, just texting on their phones. I'm like, how do they even have signal? Exactly, like find something to be happy about. They said, well, we got power back, but we don't have Wi-Fi. What's more important? Exactly. Having the power for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> that stuff's getting loud now. Are you scared, babe? Mmm. It's all right, I got you. You can lay on my shoulder, I'll hold you. Okay. Cool. I'm not really scared, but I'm a little nervous because last time I had to throw, like my, I, I didn't have to throw all the food away. Yeah. I was able to pile a lot of stuff into the deep freezer. Mmm. It's spicy. I think you'll be okay. <clears throat> what was your longest um time in your life where you actually went without power because of a storm? Wow, um, I don't think that has happened to me. Mm, really? Mm -mm. The longest, or it, I've had situations where there was a power outage, but it didn't really last longer than a few hours. So I think the storm here with you was probably the, you know, the craziest. Yeah, that was what several days, wasn't it? Yeah. Several days. That was like a whole week. <laughs> yep, yep, it was. Basically. Yep. And some people even after that still didn't get even when your electricity came back on there was still so many people who electricity still wasn't even on mm -hmm. and i think i waited to what like the last two days before the outage came before the power came back on yeah. i waited the last two days to buy a generator so fear she had been saying something to me about hey, maybe you should consider i was like yeah but maybe because i kept getting messages on my phone saying I would be back on tomorrow around six. I kept getting those same messages. Yeah. People were kept saying, "Well, Center Point is in the area," so I, so I was hope. So it's not that I didn't want to go buy it, but I was holding off hope because I was getting false hope. Every time I would get an alert, they were like, "Oh well, this evening at six o'clock, this evening at five o'clock," and they would never happen. Every day went by it was just, it was another day. Yeah, I, I can't that was remember. Disappointing. Yeah, I can't remember what made me just. Throw the towel in. I, there was something that you said, but there was something that I think the ice in the freezer, the food started going on thaw in the deep yeah, freezer. Yeah, and then there was something one of the neighbors said to you. They said that they haven't heard. They they heard that it was going to take at least a couple of weeks. Oh, and that's when you was just like, yep. you know, maybe we sh we should take this a little more serious and mm -hmm. get you know a generator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we like the most out of a whole entire sheet before. You like the crab legs the most of them. Yeah. Without any questions, huh? Mm -hmm. You want some of the sausage? I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's really spicy. It's like, it's so spicy it's making my nose run. <laughs> I'm like, oh my Imagine God. Imagine asking for spicy. Mm -hmm. But we act the spicy. 
Yeah. I think this ain't the only place we went. Maybe to. it's this that I mean. I, it's probably the crack mm-hmm. sauce now I'm thinking about you. Nope. It's a, it's a season. It's the food, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's really spicy. Yeah, I think a lot of places like this. Remember that place we went to a long time ago? It was called Swamp King. Mm-hmm. It was the same way we asked for miles. It was like really spicy. I was getting a, uh, what was those? Smoked turkey legs? Smoked turkey legs. <laughs> oh, I used to get them bad boys. America! They were so good. <laughs> You don't play about your turkey legs. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> play about my turkey legs. It is good though. Mm-hmm. Yep. So you think that you could like, you think the seafood is something that you can eat all the time? Oh yes, without even a question. Like, that's Never you're tired of it? Never. Uh, Never. A lot of people like that. I know people eat it every day. Mm-hmm. I think it's because most of my diet is surrounding um, seafood, whether it be just fish, shrimp. That's mostly what I eat every day anyway. Fish and shrimp. Yeah. That's definitely me. Y'all already know. Your boy can eat some fish. <laughs> yes, you can. You can catch them and you can eat them. Mm-hmm. Shoot, we just had catfish when I, you know, the other day. That was really good. Really good. Friday night, whole catfish. Yep, we had whole catfish Friday night. Yeah, that was really good. And it was like, what, one in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't sleep. We just got up and we started cooking. Mm-hmm. So I also kept asking. Wow. You're going to say, babe, so did you catch these? <laughs> I said, well, I lied, though. He said, yeah, babe, I caught these fish. Yeah, I caught these. I would have believed it, too. Yeah. I definitely would have believed it. Woo, this is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My whole lips is burning. Oh, my gosh. Literally on fire. She had the two big clusters. Those crab legs were bigger than these too. You want you pick up you want these? Mm-mm, I'm gonna finish some of these up first. I may end up. Yeah, it's my, my, my. I may end up getting some of those, but maybe not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be on those shrimps and that um, sausage though. It's like they gave us more yeah. crab legs on the side than they gave with the original. What they gave us two clusters in the back? Yeah. The extra crab bag. legs. And yeah. which they gave us. One with the actual boil itself. Yeah. Which is weird. That is weird. It should have been like the opposite. But believe it or not, when I went inside the place to get the food, mm-hmm. there was a lot of people in there. It was packed in there. They probably gave you corn to one of them. <laughs> they, they probably gave my corn to one of them. They were sitting down tearing that seafood up. And it'd be like mostly women. Oh, I say a lot of females love seafood. Would they say all bad love seafood? Yeah, all bad. Who sang that song? I don't know. They, they say all bad love seafood. You always saying it though. That's true. <laughs> because every time you be like, I'll be like, what you eating for lunch today? Mm-hmm. You are going to eat seafood when you're not around me. Not That's cool. my diet. And I know you're not talking. Then you just do a whole seafood thing without me too. Are you mad? I was at the time, but I'm over now because look, I got some with you now. Comment down below, guys, if y'all want to see us actually do a seafood boil. Not a muck ring, but actually see us do a cooking. Cook it. Seafood. Some people have been saying that they want to see us do a cooking video or see you do a cooking video for me. Yeah. And my sauce, the sauce that I make tastes way better than this one. I'm just saying, it's not the spicy. Oh, you make your own um, crab roll sauce? Yeah. Uh, seafood's really? Mm hmm. Yes. So you gonna tell me what you add to it, or you gonna let that be a secret? I'll teach you. I'll let you see, but you know. It's not spicy, though. I'm a nose running and stuff with it. No. Because right now, I don't be surprised. Know one of the ingredients in it is actually brown sugar. Brown sugar. Mm-hmm. What? Well, when I make mine, yeah, I eat brown sugar. Brown sugar. Okay. I mean. It's more, obviously, but I'm not going to get my whole recipe away. Oh, no, you're not supposed to. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, this is good. I got the real big cluster right here. Don't be looking over here. <laughs> hey, I'm watching and learning. You can take that one. I'm not sure. You sure? Uh, yeah. If I wasn't, I'd be like, get your meaty hands out of here. You're going to have no more crab legs left. That's fine. It's more. It's right here. You want some of shrimp? I'll get some. It's so much, it's yeah. I think we was hungry and <laughs> our belly was talking for us. We actually waited 
all afternoon, guys. Yeah, we waited all afternoon. Get deep breakfast. No breakfast, breakfast nothing. Mm -hmm. Just so we can have an appetite. Mm-hmm. Just so we can bring you guys this video. Mm-hmm. It was definitely worth it. So do you believe all bad females love seafood? <laughs> I just had to go back to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> everybody can love seafood. Excuse me? I ain't saying, you know. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just joking. Mm-hmm. So yeah, guys, comment down below if y'all want to see us do like our first cooking seafood video together, or it don't even have to be a seafood video. It could be our first cooking video together. Yeah, anything. Mm-hmm. You know they be clowning me on YouTube, right? Why? Because people know that I like to make greens a lot. Uh, you're like, hey, but I hear some people saying- But you do, this. though. That's the thing. You do. They you be, do make greens a lot. I'm not gonna lie. They be good, though. You like what you like. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm so used to having like um the greens like Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas, but you be doing it all year round. There's nothing wrong with that. You like what you like. I think because when you were growing up, like, when your parents or you go to a relative's house, like the kids was allowed to eat certain stuff, but oh, you yeah. couldn't eat certain things like... Yeah, is it relative? Yeah. I got to go forward. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Mike, you make sure you good. Yeah, you good. So basically, I, I was asking that because when I was younger, like this is about the greens, why I make greens so much. Mm -hmm. So we used to go to my grandmother's house and stuff when I was younger. The kids could only eat stuff like the hot dogs, but we couldn't get like the steak and ribs, stuff, and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Like the good stuff is for the adults, as they would say. And it was the same way with greens. I see the scissors, please. So then, thank you. So when I got older, I'm like, you know what? I couldn't eat greens as much as I wanted when I was younger. But now I can eat greens as much as I want now. I think that's probably why I eat them so much. Because I do eat greens and I do cook them more than that. I definitely can understand that. that. That's probably why I am the way I am with seafood. Like, I love it so much because when we were little, we were only allowed to have, you know, certain stuff when the parents had a big seafood boil yeah. and all that. So it was like, now I can eat it whenever I want. Yep, the young people had to be limited on certain things. I used to be like, look at those steaks on the grill. Look at those ribs. But we got a darn hot dog. They yeah, be like, don't touch my stuff. Mm -hmm. Go over there and say I'm gonna eat a hot dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still appreciative of, you know, the childhood that I had, but I think a lot of stuff now when I eat up, overeat or overcook certain things, mm -hmm. it's because I used to always want it. I remember when I start, like I couldn't wait to earn my own money and get a job because it was this candy bar. Mm -hmm. It was called Bun. Bun? B-U-N, Bun Candy Bar. Mm-hmm. Okay. I had the caramel and peanuts and this stuff. And I'm like, my mom too would let me, you know, every once in a while I can get one. So I was like, you know, when I get older, I'm gonna get me a job. I'm gonna buy me as many Bun Candy Bars as I can, as I want when I get my first paycheck. <laughs> Lo and behold, I got my first paycheck, I want to bought like 20 of them things. They what? were like a dollar and 20 cent a piece. I want to bought like 15 to 20 of those candy bars. I sure did. Oh, you was happy. Yeah. Yep. And right to this day, I can still eat them candy bars. Mm. Mm hmm. I got extra shrimp over too. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm actually full. Glad you gave me. Are you? Mm -hmm. See, if seafood, I can eat seafood a lot. The only way I get full if it's like a lot of sausage and eggs and stuff in it. I don't really get pulled off crab legs and stuff. I do. I used to not get pulled right off of it right off the bat, but now I don't. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna gain that one ounce of weight. Mm -hmm. Some people hate that though. Like some people can eat, and they have to like go work out immediately. Some people can eat and eat and eat and don't really have to work out as much to get it, you know, like to lose it. I think it all depends on how much you eat though. Cause you can eat a lot. But what's the calories look like, you know? Is it carbs? Is it it just depends on what you're eating. See, but I really seafood don't. don't really make you gain weight. Seafood don't really make you gain weight. Mm -hmm. 
I watched a documentary one time on the stuff that people go through to get us to seafood. You ever watch those shows? Mm -mm. They out on the ocean on the boats and stuff. I saw something where they were cutting shrimp before. I think I've seen that in person. When we went to the beach. We seen oh, it. Oh yeah, that's right. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Guy was catching shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got was them. Yeah. Yeah. I watched it. They were catching fresh shrimp. Yeah, I watched the. I watched the show. Uh, some of you guys probably seen it too. How they catch seafood and crab legs and stuff. So they said at least two or three of those people lose their lives a year. Really? Mm -hmm. Because this is a full-time job for them. Oh they make a lot of money out there fishing and stuff and trying to catch seafood. But when they be out there in those hurricanes, those bad storms, oh, yeah. the ship goes over a sinks or something crazy happens. It's this movie called Perfect Storm. It's, it's an old movie. But it's a movie I can watch like several times over and over. And there was a movie where the fishermen were out there catching fish. And they went to this one island called Flemish Cap. And they all end up losing their lives. It really happened in real life. It was a true story. Oh my goodness. I think it happened like 90, 92 or something like that. A lot of you guys probably know what I'm talking about. The movie called A Perfect Storm. I heard of that movie before. I definitely heard of it. I've probably seen it too. Look, it's really sad. Like that movie that you fell asleep on me last night. You think I was gonna remind you of Captain Phillips? Wipe, wipe your mouth right there, big on the right here. Thank you. I was listening. You know what was going down. You know what. Yeah, <laughs> you looking at the inside of your eyelids is what was going down. I wanted to watch it, but you know what happened when I lay on your chest? It's just like, I know it's so comforting. I just, even if I'm not that tired, like as soon as I lay down on you, I'm, I'm just getting over. I'm getting too sleepy. I'm gonna fall asleep. Every time. And you be like trying to fight. You be like, oh, I'm staying up watching. I said last night, I said, you're going to be sleeping in a few minutes. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm, I said so. Next thing you know, she was out. Mm -hmm. I just turned, shook my head and I just turned the movie off. I should have turned the TV on real loud. I turned all the lights in the room on. It was off, a wrap. I was done. Turned the Bluetooth speaker on and set it right next to you and turned it up as loud. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Wake you up. I would have woke up mad as hell. <laughs> that would have been a fight. <laughs> you went off. Yes. I would have cursed you out, baby. Like, for real. But why? It's just noise. Yeah, all right. Let me do that to you. Um, knowing me, I'm going to have to sleep. I probably won't even hear it. Oh, you definitely won't hear it. <laughs> I'm going to look up uh, fart noises. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. And put it right next to you. <laughs> I'm waking up. I'm going to be like, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. I think I would wake <laughs> up on that. Like, yo, she over there blowing it up. And it's loud. Why is she in my ear with it? I'm going to have it right in your ear, loud. A whole bunch of fart noises. You're going to put the cheeks right up to my ear and fart. I'm going to be like, what the? I'm like, wait, I'm like, what in the world? Oh, my gosh. My belly feels so good. I got the itis, y'all. Like, oh, my God. What you know about the itis? Yeah. Everything. This seafood was everything. It was so good, even though it was spicy as ever, even to the point of making our nose run. Yeah, I had to dip out for a second. Like, yeah, I feel like they did not make this mild. I'm really starting to think that it was really spicy. Or you just think it was, that's just how it is. I think that's how it is. It was real spicy. But I do believe that if you actually ask for spicy, that you're gonna really get spice. It's gonna yeah. be a lot worse than this right here. Excuse me. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. this is Are you full too? Well, I'm getting there now. Yeah, man. Definitely gonna eat these shrimp. But guys, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this short seafood mukbang. What again? So so. Yes. But comment down below, guys, if you guys are in the path of this hurricane that's coming, and what things have or are you guys doing to better prep yourself for it? And I will say this right here: if you buy something when you have a power outage, hang on to it. Don't give it away. Like, it's hard to let somebody borrow something. For instance, like if someone, somebody were to call me and say, hey, Mr. Cryer, even though I'm not using it at this moment, it would be hard for me if someone called me and said, hey, Mr. Cryer, I know I haven't talked to you in about seven or eight years, but I see that you have a generator. Can I use your yeah. generator? It'd be hard to do that. You know, so when you, yeah, yeah when, when you buy stuff, just know that you're gonna need it again. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm hoping that I don't need it, 
But based off what I'm hearing, and you guys probably hear the background, I may just need it again. But let me know how you guys are comparing yourself if you're in the path <clears throat> of any of these states. Excuse me, that's in the path of this hurricane. I know I'm getting myself prepared. I got my batteries charged up from last time. Again, I got the full tank of gas already in the generator. I'm going to fill up the tank again tonight. And even if we don't lose power, I will still be better prepared next time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and also comment down below on the first cooking video y'all want us to do. Y'all want us to do cooking seafood? <laughs> uh, if not, let us know. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And or if you guys want a cooking challenge, y'all know I can fry some wings. Can you fry some wings? Of course I can. Are they good though? They real good. You know how to season them? Of course. I'm the one that showed you that little mustard trick. <clears throat> okay, anyway, all in my business, eh? Yeah, she did show me a little <laughs> trick about how you how to use the mustard. But anyway, you got anything else that you wanna say? I just wanna say be safe out there and um, pray for Jamaica at this point. Yeah. Jamaica is definitely in a strong path. They're going to get it worse than we are. If they're not already getting it. I think they are. Yeah. Ooh. Or it, it has, maybe. I'm not really sure. The last thing I seen was they was it was hitting Jamaica very hard. It's like Kingston, right? Yeah, Kingston, Montego Bay, and then Mexico. Ooh, yeah. yeah, so just pray for everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, stay prayed up, guys. We love you all, man. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.